In this video, I'm going to give a quick rundown of what is, in my opinion, the best way to make stubs here in MLB The Show 22 Diamond Dynasty. As always, be sure to leave a like on the video, subscribe if you're not already. If we can hit 100,000 subscribers before Easter, I'm actually going to be giving away $500. And in the comment section below, maybe any questions for people to answer, or if you have any other stub making tips for people to see that you want to share, feel free to leave those down in the comment section. Now, most of my tutorial videos, new news, content drop updates, stuff like that, maybe pack openings, any video where it's not really gameplay related for most of the year is going to be on a second channel that I have. That should be one of the first few links in the description. The reason that I'm uploading this video here on this channel, even though I do have that one, and sometimes you might actually see the same videos on this channel as well as that one is because I really want the broad tutorials for the first few weeks of the game. The ones that I think would help the most people. I want to try to get as many eyes as possible on those specific tutorials but with that being said after the first few weeks the game has been out most of them not all of my tutorials content drops news updates videos like that that are not gameplay related should all be on that second channel after the first three or four weeks that the game's been out now in my opinion the best way to make stubs here and i'm gonna be the show 22 here in diamond dynasty the best collective overall method for the average player for for the typical player, the best way to make stubs is going to be working the market, aka flipping cards. And I'm going to have something at the end of the video that I think will help you on a ton. So stay tuned for that when it comes to flipping cards and making stubs at the end. But let's just go ahead and get into what is working the market, what is flipping cards, how do you do it? So basically, what I like to do is do it by live series players. You can literally do it for any player on the market, but especially this early on in the year, live series players are moving so fast. Buy orders are filling fast. Sell orders are filling fast. And that's why I would recommend filtering by the live series player. Now to bring up a search filter, again, you don't have to do a filter. You can see in the bottom left, it says filters. For me, that's square. I'm gonna press the square button. I'm gonna click filter. And then I selected a live series. It's the same button right next to me, toggle filter square. I'm toggling that live for my series. However, there's a bunch of other ones. But again, today we're focusing on live series just because early on in the year, they're moving faster. And I feel like that's gonna be your best bet for making stubs. And this this is a method that you can literally do the entire year. You can consistently do this. You can even do it on your phone. There is an MLB The Show app where you can place buy and sell orders and work the market, flip cards while you're in the middle of a ranked seasons game or a BR game, or maybe while you're not home, you're at your girlfriend's house, you're in bed, whatever you're doing, you are able to do it on your phone if you have that MLB The Show companion app, but I'm just going to be showing you guys me doing it here in the actual game. And what I would recommend is not the high diamonds because those cost a lot and their margins are not very big. At this point in the year, from what I've noticed, a lot of the margins aren't very big on a lot of cards. But let's check out Francisco Lindor. Now, what I'm looking for is big gaps between the buy now price and the sell now price. And just looking at this page, he has about 600 stubs for his gap in between his buy now price and his sell now price. Right here, it's only like 170. This one right here is 800, but because there's the tax on the market, which we'll get to in a second, it might not be as appealing because those are higher numbers. It's only 300 gap right here. The gap for Jake Cronenworth is only eight. So the reason Lindor stood out to me is because he's got a much larger gap in between the buy now and sell now prices compared to the other cards on this page. So we're going to go ahead and select. For me, that is the X button. Go to buy and sell options. And then you can see buy now and sell now. You do not want to do that. You do not want to buy him for $2,300 or sell him for $1,700. What you want to do is click on buy and then do create buy order. Again, you do not want to be doing buy now. You want to be doing create buy order. Now, the price you want to pay attention to when the, you're doing a buy order is the sell now price. So we can see that that is 1,723 stubs. So I'm going to create my buy order for one higher than that sell now price. I'm going to do 1,724. Now, okay, well, people have already done it. So let's just take the new one, 1,769. So let's go 1,770. So as you can see, now 
if someone is going to sell now Lindor, it would go to me because I have that highest order. So while you're doing this, you might want to keep checking. And as you can see, someone's already outbid me. So I might want to go to 776 right here. Or if I find that people seem to be doing the same card, I'll go ahead and try to find a new one. You don't have to do Lindor. You don't have to do any specific card. You can literally do this with any card in the game as long as they have a big enough gap between their buy now and sell now price. So once that order has gone through, say someone sells them to me for 1,776 stubs, I'm going to go to sell. And then once I click sell, I'm going to create sell order the same way I did as a buy order, except now we're paying attention to that buy now price. The buy now price is 2,371. So for me, I would do 2,370. And as you can see, the market, there is a 10% tax for all items sold. So that is why it's best to look for bigger gaps. That's why sometimes those high diamonds, their gaps are so small you're barely even making stubs. And some of these cards, you're barely making stubs because that 10% tax. And sometimes you might even lose stubs if you're buying and selling or whatever because of that tax. So if I were to do 2,370, then the buy now price would go down to 2,370 because that's gonna be the best option available for somebody that wants to buy now on the card. That would be the first option and it would be my order if I were placing that one. And I would receive... 2133 stubs which is a profit of about 350 a little bit over 350 stubs and that might not seem like a lot but you can just keep doing orders okay so i'm gonna go to my completed orders i haven't really been flipping a lot this year i was just kind of doing it on my phone uh while i was in the car uh passenger seat going to portillo's and uh grabbing a hot dog but i was just kind of doing it on my phone seeing how it worked and i was just buying and selling players as you can see the knuckleballer mickey is it yanis or janice but either way the knuckleballer i was buying him for 118 stubs and selling him for 342 and that's about a 200 stub profit which at the time doesn't seem like a lot but those 200 stubs really add up because you can see sell 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 every time you're seeing a sell i'm profiting about 200 stubs for mickey right here for ozzy albies i bought him for 7200 sold him for 8400 you got to keep in mind the tax as well so that came out to about 7600 but i made 400 stubs and it literally took a minute it was almost exactly a minute from the buy order to the sell order from when they both went through and I made 400 stubs. And, but if you wanted, you could just go through the pages and look for big gaps. If maybe you found one page that was really working well, you could literally just place a couple orders. Like say I just wanted to do like 826, 826. I could just go ahead and do this and I'm not really paying attention to the gaps right now. I'm just showing you guys how fast you can actually get these buy orders placed because they can place super fast and while you're placing orders you'll start to notice that they go through people will have sold you the cards and then you can go back and start selling the cards that people have sold you and it all just kind of snowballs and keeps adding up and what i like to do is place a whole bunch of buy orders and then go into a ranked seasons game. I try to use, say I have 84,000 stubs. I try to place 84,000 stubs of buy orders before I go into a ranked game. And then while I'm in the ranked game, I'm going to be getting notifications. Oh, look at that. Buy order for Nathan E. Evaldi completed for 791. So if I'm in a ranked game, I could just tap on that notification and go sell them on my phone. Or if I'm here on this menu, I could go ahead and be like, okay, Nathan E. Evaldi, I just bought him. So let's go ahead and try to do 1048 and you guys are seeing literally in the top right how fast this can go AJ Pollock sold see I'm already forgetting the cards that I had and that I bought because the orders are just going through and I start to lose track a little bit and that's another reason why it can be nice having the phone because you have that list of notifications it can show you who you have what orders went through who you need to still list everything like that Jorge Polanco is another one that I just bought gonna try to sell them make a little bit over a hundred stub profit if he does go through and if you don't have the app you don't have a tablet you don't have your phone you can literally see the orders that went through here on your completed orders page you can also see the order 
orders that you currently still have active so it's just a pretty cool way to make stubs and it can really really add up over time and it's super nice now that you're also able to do it on your phone or tablet and do it on the go i feel like i should also mention that you can do it on their website the show.com so you can literally flip cards on a computer on a phone on a tablet on your console you can pretty much flip cards anywhere you have internet access now at the beginning or kind of towards the beginning of the video i mentioned that there's a little bit of a secret to making stubs to flipping cards and i'm going to have this link down in the description this is not sponsored by any means i just love this website it's showzone.io i'm going to link this specific flipping page but literally you can go to this page and see which cards on the market have the highest profit per minute now one downside to this is a ton of people know about this website and check this website and that causes the people at the top and the ones that have the most profit per minute to be pretty competitive when it comes to flipping which can sometimes close the margins in between players but i would definitely recommend this website take a look maybe try to go for something like middle of the pack like a javier Baez or kyle tucker you know somebody like that you know i would probably not recommend doing salvador perez right at the top i feel like those are going to be the most competitive but you can literally go to multiple pages you can see how many times they're being sold per minute you can see the profit that you're making per flip and everything like that so i would highly recommend this website when it comes to flipping i feel like combining this website with flipping cards in general can help you maximize your stub profits and i will be the show just like always i'm hoping this video was helpful if it helped at least one person then i feel like my goal was accomplished it makes me happy because i feel like i helped somebody and that's my goal with these videos is to help at least one person i really am just trying to help people out give them information that they might not have had before and it's pretty much as simple as flipping cards buying low selling high create a buy order for the cheapest amount you can create a sell order for the most expensive amount you can and try to profit as many stubs as possible and always be having active orders too it's something that's very nice and can passively make you stubs like i said in a ranked seasons game you can literally have orders placed and then while the game's going on you can literally sell them if you want to so hope you enjoyed this video like comment subscribe all that good stuff i will see you next time thank you guys for watching i hope you have a great day i will see you next time peace out